there seems to be an assumption that gameplay and story are completely separate things, that one cannot influence the other. And I don't quite agree. Most games aren't movies, and we shouldn't treat them as such. Everything tells a story. Cutscenes, dialogue, voice acting, character design, game mechanics, and in the case of Metroid, environments and character actions. Sure, it's not super detailed, but there are still character traits there. Take Samus. We have a bounty hunter who typically works alone, managing to wreck the shit of both Ridley and the space pirates on a regular basis. That's not to say that she's without compassion, though. For example, there's the infant Metroid. In Metroid 2, Samus seems to take pity on the newly hatched Metroid, and instead of killing it, she hands it over for study. In Super Metroid, Samus can also rescue beings known as Etacoons and Decora during the escape sequence. And given that these creatures appear in Metroid Fusion, one can assume that this is canon. Samus is also willing to sacrifice herself for the safety of galactic civilization. In Metroid Fusion, she activates a self-destruct sequence on the space station she's on in order to prevent the escape of a parasite. A parasite that she believes will spell the end of galactic civilization if allowed to escape. She barely makes it out alive. This brings us to just how often she comes close to death. In Zero Mission, she's shot while escaping Zebus, leaving her without her ship or power suit. There is also, of course, the iconic self-destruct sequences. Beyond all that, I think Samus can be defined by one major character trait. Courage in the face of impossible odds. No challenge is too tough. No enemy is too dangerous. She will do her best to vanquish evil and keep the galaxy safe. It doesn't matter if she has to face giant dragons, insanely deadly parasites, a copy of herself, or even the Galactic Federation itself. But her courage is also a double-edged sword. There's a fine line between being courageous and being reckless. After all, this boundless courage is the reason that she has come so close to death on multiple occasions. The courage that has let her become a galactic savior has almost killed her several times. And it's not even that she doesn't feel fear. Take the SAX, for example. It's not unfair to assume that Samus might be at least a little bit scared of the thing. Samus cannot take the SAX on, and she knows this. But despite this very reasonable fear, Samus moves forward, with her eventually recovering enough of her power suit to take on the SAX. Samus does have characterization outside of Other M. While sure, it's not super detailed, but Samus was more than a blank slate. She works alone, she's powerful, she's compassionate, but above all else, she is courageous.